so in the in the in that ending, the rejection ending, where where Shepard shoots the catalyst, um, if it says you know uh, it, it you pretty much failed and the, the Reapers won because the Crucible didn't do anything. Crucible didn't didn't nothing happened. It didn't work. So if the Crucible didn't work, that was the thing that was gonna get you out of this whole mess. That was gonna destroy the Reapers or get rid of the Reapers. Um, it doesn't work. You're you're probably gonna fight them for a long time, but they're eventually gonna win. There was way too many Reapers to take them out. They're way too big. They're way too strong. Um, even in the other endings, you see how how overwhelming the uh, the force the the Reaper force was getting. Um, you know, the, in the other endings before the 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 different colored lights uh, hit hit Earth, that you could see that the Reapers are pretty much like taking over uh everybody like the people are they're they're kind of like this is it like we're going down um they were all they, it looked like they were losing so they it, it they wouldn't have lasted long anyways um so if the crucible wouldn't have reacted they would have gone down at least that's my kind of reasoning i was like it makes sense it sucks but it makes sense even though you did get all those assets and all those uh, you did all that throughout the game, you have to remember that the biggest, the biggest thing in the game, the biggest thing that you needed, that you were fighting for, was the Crucible. Uh, because that was the way that you were going to defeat the Reapers. And that 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 was said ever since the beginning of the game with Liara, and the, the, the thing, uh, the reason why you left Earth, Earth. That's what Hackett said, you know, this is our only chance. This is the only thing that we could probably do to take out the Reapers. So that's what I think about that ending. I thought it was realistic. I mean, kind of sucks, but realistic. Talking about the refusal ending, when you shoot the kid, or you, when you shoot the catalyst, um, you could hear in Harbinger's voice, or a voice very similar to Harbinger's, um, I think it was Harbinger's voice, uh, so, so it says, so be it. Um, and people say, oh my god, that proves that the catalyst is a Reaper. And I'm just like, that proves nothing. It doesn't prove that he's a Reaper. You guys have to, like, think about the other options. You can't just say there's one answer to, to everything, right? There's different answers. There's different things that, that might, might explain that. Um, now, you're welcome to believe whatever you want, but it could, it could mean a lot of things. Yeah, it could, it could mean that the, the Catalyst was a Reaper, but it also could mean that, uh, you know, since the Catalyst controls the Reapers, it's kind of like this, it's almost like the Geth in a way, where, where one thing is just like, that, like they're all connected, they're all one mind. Um, I think it's kind of like the same thing with the Catalyst and the Reapers. Uh, so, um, since the Catalyst controls the Reapers, Shepard shoots the Catalyst, and it's kind of like the, the, that sends a message to Harbinger, or that sends a message to the Reapers saying, destroy them, this is it. And then Harbinger, you could hear Harbinger saying, so be it. And it also could mean that uh, the voice that, the Har Harbinger's voice that was always talking to Shepard might have always been just the catalyst. Like maybe the Reapers, like maybe the catalyst is the one that, that is uh, like the voice of the Reapers. Because the Reapers are kind of just like, it's puppets kind of thing. So maybe you were always hearing the catalyst and then you're just like, oh, but it's a different voice. Do you really think that the catalyst is a boy? It's not a boy. That's not hit the catalyst's voice. It's just the way that Shepard was seeing the catalyst, um, because it was manifesting itself as you know the boy that Shepard had seen on Earth for some reason, right? And he was hearing a boy, but obviously the AI wasn't a boy, and he didn't. He wasn't. You know, he. I don't think that was his original form. You're welcome to think whatever you think, but I don't think that was his original form. It's just too weird, you know, for it to be a boy. Um, I think it manifests itself however you see it and however you hear it. So um, maybe Shepard was see seeing and hearing it as this boy, um, and then once you shoot it, you could he you could Shepard hears it as it is, like as the AI that it is, and it's Harbinger's voice. So it doesn't exactly prove that it's it's a Reaper. Um, I'm just throwing these things out there so you guys could you know see different options that that might be. But yeah, like I said, you're, you're welcome to believe whatever you want. When it comes to the different endings, a lot of people have asked me, what's your favorite ending? I chose the control ending. That was the original ending that I had always 
chosen. My favorite, personally, is the Paragon Control ending. I thought that was that was brilliant. I loved it. Um, but I think there is potential to all the endings, especially since we know that there is going to be another Mass Effect game or another, you know, continuation. Um, not directly from Mass Effect 3, so you can't say that it's going to be called Mass Effect 4, because Bioware has strictly said many times that this is it, that the Shepard story was a trilogy, Mass Effect 3 ends the Shepard story, and that's it. Um, now a lot of people are like, yeah, but in the, in the, in the Destroy ending, Shepard lives. And I'm like, yeah, he does live, but that doesn't mean that there's going to be another game where you play as Shepard. And I'll tell you why. Bioware would not make another game, like Mass Effect 4, where you were to play Shepard, as Shepard, but only for the people that chose Destroy. Everybody, trust me, everybody that, would, that had chosen Control and Synthesis, um, and the rejection ending, all of those people, they would be like, what? Another Mass Effect game where you play as Shepard? Are you kidding me? Screw that. They go back and play Mass Effect 3. Everybody would de choose Destroy. Because everybody would want to would wanna play as Shepard again. So they're not going to do that because there's no choice there anymore. It's, it's Bioware manipul manipulating you to choose Destroy. And that's not what Bioware is about. They've always said that they, they value choice in their games. So, they wouldn't do that. Uh, th just because Shepard lives at the end of Destroy doesn't mean that the next Mass, Mass Effect game is sh the continuation of Shepard. Not only because it, it wouldn't make sense, it would be Bioware kind of like, you know, manipulating you to choose Destroy, or just like favoriting people that chose Destroy, saying like, well, all you guys are losers, you know, you guys chose the wrong ending, so you guys don't get to play as Shepard. No. And then people say, okay, well maybe you won't play as Shepard, maybe he'll just be like, he'll make an appearance, kind of like a like a cameo or something like that. But I doubt that they'd even do that, because Shepard is so particular to everybody, he's such a personal character to everybody, and Shepard means different things to everybody. There's no, there's no way to, to say, oh, that's Shepard. Um, it, I could I could tell you exactly who my shepherd is, but he could be completely different to all of your guys' shepherds. Say no, my my shepherd will my shepherd was like this, and my shepherd was like this. It's completely different shepherds all over the world. Um, so Bioware would have a really really hard time trying to uh, to create your shepherd, even though they know how how your shepherd looked like and you know, kind of knew your decisions, they would not be able to do him justice if you weren't playing Shepard. If they were just to show him, you'd be like, what the hell? Why did he just do that? My Shepard wouldn't do that. They'd, they'd kind of sink themselves into a hole and kind of get into a problem. I mean, unless you just saw Shepard from like afar, it's like, oh, that's Commander Shepard. Oh, wow. Then I could see that. I could be like, okay, yeah, they can do that. But I think he's going to be mentioned. I think for people that chose uh, Destroy, in the future Mass Effect games, you will hear about Shepard. Like, whoever you're playing as, it's going to be like, oh yeah, you probably hear it on the Citadel or something, or somebody talking about it. Oh yeah, Commander Shepard, he, he saved the, the galaxy against the Reapers, and um, he, he, he went off and still, you know, did good around the galaxy, and he had a family, and, and blah blah blah, and then he died of old age. That's what I think Bioware is going to do with that ending. They're gonna, they're gonna, they, 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 they made Shepard live, not to continue his story, because they said they're not gonna continue his story. They made she Shepard live just for people that want their Shepard to live, you know, to, to say, okay, yeah, uh, I could totally see him going off and marrying Liara and having blue, little blue babies or something. Um, but they're not gonna go into that because it would just be, it would just make a problem for a lot of people. And it would be very, it would be a lot of favoritism and it would be very manipulative as well. So um, I think it's just going to be mentioned. He's just going to be mentioned. Um, kind of like saying, you know, this is what happened to your shepherd or, you know, uh, you could, you know, insert, insert whatever you want here. But that's what I think about that. Um, so just because Shepard lives doesn't mean that he's going to be the protagonist of the next Mass Effect game. Or it doesn't mean that Mass Effect 3 is not over. Mass Effect 3 is over. That's it. Bioware wanted this to be 
full circle, and they've said it many times before, even after the endings. They did not change their mind about that. It's still just a trilogy, the Shepard story. They're not going to continue with Shepard. And a lot of people were saying, oh yeah, well, what? look at Halo, you know, maybe, maybe it's the same thing. You know, they could always bring him back. But you can't compare Mass Effect to Halo, because Halo is completely different. Halo is not an RPG. Everybody experiences the same ending in Halo. So they could go ahead and go back on their word and say, you know, boom, another Halo. And it's like, oh, okay. So everybody experiences the same thing. Master Chief is the same character for everybody. They they determine who Master, she Master Chief is, not you. So that would be completely easy to do. Mass Effect is a completely different idea or different situation because it's an RPG and she Shepard is completely particular to everybody and it, it would just be, you know, making people go back and just choose Destroy so that they could play this game uh, with their Shepard. Um, so my favorite is Control. My favorite ending is Control because I just love the idea of it. Now I do agree with a lot of you because you a lot of you were saying Oh yeah, but now it's like God Shepherd. He's like this guardian. It's it, he's and he, all this power might even corrupt him. But I was like, how awesome would that be for a future game, um, for a future Mass Effect game? Because they are going to do another Mass Effect. They've said that that they're go going to continue the universe, the Mass Effect universe. Um, so w what if they, it, even if Shepherd did get corrupted? Even if he did, I think that would make such an awesome um, storyline. I'd just be like, oh my god, that'd be so cool. So I'm good with it. I'm, I don't care what happens, but I love that whole idea. That my shepherd just became this like, like super AI guardian guy. And he might be like, you know, helping everybody. But then he might go corrupt because of how powerful he is. Um, and start like you know changing things, or maybe even the people like the like the Corians and the the Turians and all of them might even start rebelling against um, all this control that he might have, and just seeing the Reapers like doing everything for them, like kind of like fixing everything for them. They might even say, "Okay, that's it. You know, we could do it by ourselves. You know, you guys could get just just leave. We don't need you guys." So they could like it, there, there, there's gonna be this whole like tension there. So I, I would love that. I'm all about drama. I, I love that. The synthesis ending also has a lot of potential. Um, I could totally see there being the next Mass Effect, like it being super interesting, especially with your new this new evolved race. Like, what is what are the worlds gonna look like after this? What are the people going to be like? I mean, you've already reached this this um, this ultimate evolution, so h how is it going to be, you know, there's going to be massive technology everywhere, and maybe even people become, like, immortal, it, it, that's just going to be really, really interesting to see as well, um, and then the destroy ending, I think, also has a lot of potential, because you destroyed the Reapers, and now you have to live through life and see, really, if the catalyst was right or not, like, is, is, are the, are the synthetics really going to go against you again or not? You know, it, it's, it's still going to be that, that, that sense of like, oh man, I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder, I wonder if, uh, we really are going to live in peace with the synthetics or is it really going to be like the catalyst said and this time who knows what happens because, you know, the reapers aren't there to fix everything. Um, so I think that one has a lot of potential and even the rejection ending, I think also had a lot of potential for future Mass Effect games because you lost. You know, it's kind of like kind of like another another uh history with the Protheans, kind of like now now it's the humans and any other race that j was dragged into it. But now the humans, you know with Liara's little um uh message, whoever she's talking to, you're probably going to be able to to play as that. You know, it's kind of like what are you going to do now? You know, you've got all this technology and you now have have this message from somebody from the from the past and what are you going to do with that? Like are you going to are you are you going to continue doing everything the way that you've always done it? Are you going to believe it? Are you what do you, you know there's still that threat out there and you're just like oh, oh my god, you know, the threat of the reapers it's still out there. Um how is that going to play out throughout the game? So I think there's so much potential for a future Mass Effect, no matter what ending you got. That's why 
I, I do not agree with people saying, oh, this is the best ending, this is the worst ending. I don't agree with that. I think they all have potential. Um, and I just find it amazing that everybody gets to choose what they want. Because Mass Effect is going to continue, so you pretty much get to choose what you're going to be playing. Um, at least when it comes to the, your environment and uh, the feeling of the game, because they're going to be very different. It's not just gonna, like um, it's not just going to be oh this th these guys are going to have Shepard and you guys aren't. No, it's going to be so different. So many things like how are the worlds going to look? Um, how how uh, the 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 problems that everybody's going to be dealing with, what are those going to be about? Um, that kind of thing. How are they all going to de deal with either the threat that's still there, or the, the, the power, or... It's just going to be so interesting. That's why I'm so exciting, excited about the way that it ended, because I think it has a lot of potential, especially for future Mass Effect stuff. Um, I'm excited for anything Mass Effect now. I think that the extended cut had closure... And it did make us look forward to another Mass Effect because it's going to be really, really interesting with what they do with the way that Mass Effect 3 ended. At least that's the way that I feel. I know a lot of people weren't satisfied with it. They still hate it. That's completely fine with me. I completely understand why you guys would still be uh, pissed off with it. I understand. I do. Um, like I said, I'm a very open-minded person. I'm not just like, no! The control ending is completely right and all of you guys are stupid. So I think it's very interesting that everybody has a different point of view and that everybody has a different ending and uh, just, you know, a different interpretation. of